Okay, so I wore pantyhose. I don't normally wear pantyhose. Um, but I like girls who wear pantyhose. <laughs> 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 so warm, I don't know why I never wear them. I guess it looks like a dead leg. Okay. <laughs> so you need a pair of pantyhose. These happen to be... I just snagged them on this Velcro. <laughs> okay. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to cut off one of the legs. I had to cut mine around the waist because they're too tight. <laughs> Ladies, you know, are you great? <laughs> okay. So... Um, one thing I noticed about these pantyhose when I was putting them on earlier is they've got a little grip on the bottom. So I thought maybe laugh. So I'm going to cut it off a little bit at the ankle. Normally, you, you, mean you cut off the whole leg if you want to make a really big ivorito. So, but this is a little footy ivorito because I only have one bag. Hard times. <laughs> and, my, um, and my beans are brown. Obama, wait. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take a bag of beans, dried beans. It could be kitty litter. It could be dimes. It could be sand, whatever. Something that's got a lot of weight to it. And you're going to fill the pantyhose leg or footy with the beans. Like so. Okay. More the photographers now, huh? Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay. Kids love this. <laughs> God, it's embarrassing. Okay, hold on. Nice. Okay, Mom will be there in two minutes. She's making this out for you. Okay. Good thing I do that. Okay. So you're going to work it down like that. So I thought because of the hard times, you're going to knot it off here. Um, if you have any old stuffed animals around the house or you can go to Goodwill or something like that and get some, and just cut, go ahead and cut the eyes out of the animal. So I had this beaver. Um, I had this club called the Crafty Beavers, and this was my mascot. But, um, but I'm willing to give it up. So you're going to cut his eyes out. <laughs> Wait to do that. I was fantasizing about it last night. But I didn't feel like making eyes. That's how lazy I am. Anyway, it's hard times. You shouldn't be using your good felt for this. Just, yeah, cut it out. <laughs> Hold on. This is a nice old corduroy. This is an old toy. But, you know, a lot of people just give their kids' toys away, you know. Now, this is nice because I'm going to leave the fabric around it. I'm going to name it Copper Top. Thank you. God, it's awful with the eye cut. I, mean, I can't believe it's so sad. Oh, that's awful. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see, because now it just looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a raccoon. But, you know, he's got a good set of buck teeth on him, so I'm going to go ahead and take those, too. I just take it for parts. Okay. I've never put teeth on my eye burrito, but this might be funny. It doesn't look so bad now. <laughs> okay, so here are the teeth. You could probably make them. Okay, so then you're going to take some glue and you're going to, um, you know, put some glue on the eye on the bag of beans here, wherever you want to position the eyeballs. All right, there. <laughs> okay, and there. Okay, then you stick the eyes right there. Just like Martha Stewart would do the same thing. I'm going to put the teeth on it. Hard it up with the eyes upside down. All right, All right, here we go. I live alone, and I'm in my 40s. Oh, this is adorable. Right there, see? Can y'all see that? Pretty darn cute, right? And then what you do is you just cradle it over your eyes like this. Like that. And then all the weight from the beans or the kitty litter or the dimes will um, take all that puffiness that's underneath your eyes from crying because there's no money in this Christmas. <laughs> so I, I really suggest 